StreamYard Studio Chat, where it used to say private chat inside the in the side menu, you'll now see the number of people in the studio. Select that, and at the top, you'll see Studio Chat, and then a list of the other attendees in the studio. Both producer and guest can chat to everyone or directly to each person. StreamYard Shorts Reels Captions. When using the Edit and Repurpose feature to generate a short or reel, you can now choose whether or not to include captions in the edited video by selecting the CC icon in the middle bottom of the screen. I'll walk you through using both both of these features step by step and even throw in a green room bonus in the full video. Let's start with looking at the captions feature. Recently, they added the ability for us to be able to see the transcript of our recordings, whether they were a recorded video or a live video inside of the video library in StreamYard. They added that, but we couldn't necessarily add those captions to the video until now. So when you're in here looking at this video, we can simply go here to edit and repurpose right here at the top. Click on that. If I select videos 16 by nine, I don't get captions. I want to make that clear. You cannot burn captions into a video that you are creating that is 16 by nine. Um, you can only burn them into shorts and reels. That's the option where that works. So I'm going to select shorts and reels and it's going to generate transcript. My whole transcript is here and that covered in a previous video and I may leave a card here to that video just in case you want to check that out. So transcript is here really cool because I can edit the video just by looking at this transcript. I can just click on this line right here and it, it moves my um, my prop my bar right to that where that line is right to where that word is. So that's pretty cool. And you can see on the top here that the caption is on the screen. Now I can turn that caption off by simply clicking on this CC button right here in the middle or turn it back on. And you can actually see that those captions actually play through on the video. This looks clean in this version. However, if you do record a vertical version, there is no way to adjust where these captions go. So I'll show you right here. This is what this video looks like with me having recorded a 16 by nine video and now I'm repurposing it with that gray area at the top, gray area at the bottom. Uh, for that, it actually looks pretty good because I'm able to um, essentially go in and see my captions right at the place where I want them to be. But if I record a video like this, I'm gonna put, bring that back up. Now the captions are right over my face and that doesn't quite work. So keep that in mind. It's a great feature, but probably needs some tweaking. We, we need a little bit more functionality StreamYard in order for this to be really dope because I do think it would be phenomenal to be able to have this right out of your browser based streaming platform where you have the captions and it's ready to go and you can just publish it directly from here to Instagram or TikTok. That's phenomenal. So that kudos to you StreamYard. Now we're in the studio and we want to take a look at the chat feature. Now I, I want to let me go back over here to where it says brand. Let's just do brand. OK, so if I'm on the brand tab. You can see these these that menu on the, the right side of the screen uh, right here. Comments, banners, brand. And this used to say private chat. This one right here used to say private chat. Now it says three people in the studio. So I'm going to click that. When I click that, I have studio chat here at the top and I can see the other two members of the show, I guess, in the chat here as well. And the studio chat is what's selected in blue. You see that selected there in blue. And this is the chat. So if I type back in here, test, that's me typing to the general chat, the studio chat. But if I want to type directly to one of the others in the studio, of course, I'm in as the host. And that host thing is there high highlighted. 
and then this is the person that's in this test. If I want to speak directly to this test person, I could I can do that as well by just typing test. And that message only goes to that person, not to the whole chat. So if I go back to tech to the, to the studio chat, you can see that that message is not there. Maybe I want to say something private. Maybe I'm uh, I want to tell them to you know to to, to I don't know adjust something in their background or that their child is walking around behind them or. And I don't know that we can hear their dog. I don't know, but whatever it is, you may want to say something to them privately that will have an impact on the show. And being able to have that private chat is critical. And I really love how they've implemented this. One of the things that I wanted to show as a bonus, however, is that you do have the ability to utilize green room depending on what level plan you are. Uh, I recently had a client project with uh, for for a uh, stream where they actually have one of those top tier uh, service um, subscriptions that gives them the ability to utilize green room. So I used it as the producer on their account and it was phenomenal. So in order to enable that, I just go here to settings, go here to guests, click on that and right here. It says green room. I just check that box. As soon as I check that box, you'll see here now that green room chat has now highlighted. Now, this this is your bonus. We're in bonus now. Green room chat. And I can actually click here and see who's in the green room. I can chat to the people that are in the green room, but I can also video chat to the people in the green room. Let's check that out. So in a incognito tab, I'm actually getting ready to go into the green room, uh, it, it join the studio as a guest in my incognito tab. So I've just called this guest and I'm going to hit enter green room. So now you can see on this side is the guest that I'm in the green room and here uh, in as the host, I can see that this guest is in the green room now. I can go to the green room chat and I can say, hey, welcome to the show right? and enter there. And this guest who is in the green room, they can, of course, click on the green room chat and see that I have welcomed them to the show and they can type back. Boom, that's just green room chat. And so now you're kind of seeing the different tiers, studio chat, green room chat and then direct chat. So let's say the guest in the green room wants to talk to me directly and say, when can I come back stage, right? Because they're in the green room right now. So they've messaged me directly. And now if I come here, I can see that it says that guest has one on it. That's notifying me, letting me know that there's a message. So I can click on that guest. When can I come backstage? I'm going to say, okay, one sec. Let's do a video call. Boom. Here we go. So one of the options you have here is move to studio and it says backstage. So if I do that, you'll see there that person pop up here. But maybe I want to check to ensure that they have clean audio, good framing for their camera, that they're ready to go before I bring them in. Sometimes you would like to talk with them audibly. So I can actually click here where it says video call to initiate a video call with the guest. And so now I can actually see what the guest looks like. I can talk to the guest audio, let them know, okay, you're ready to go end the call and then push them to the backstage. And when I put them backstage, now you can see that that person has shown up here in the backstage they're inside the regular studio chat and not the green room chat anymore there's actually that those comments stay there but there's nobody in the green room anymore and you can see on this side that this person is now backstage that is a really cool feature and function my only challenge is that Streamyard, we need that green room on the pro plan what about the rest of us uh, maybe if we get enough of you guys to comment on this video saying, give us green room, maybe we can get StreamYard to listen. StreamYard has been on a roll lately, adding great functionality. I especially love the ability to invite webinar attendees to ask their questions on screen. 
Oh, you didn't know about that one? <laughs> Uh, no worries, I got you covered. Click this video right here and I'll walk you through the entire process. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I'll see you right over there.